Hey guys, my name is Shashank and welcome back to this new PowerPoint tutorial and today in this video I'm going to show you that how do you create this beautiful and creative PowerPoint transition. Well, after seeing this transition you might be wondering that this might need a lot of skill and a lot of hard work to create such kind of transition and animation but trust me this is very easy and you can do it in just under 10 minutes. So well, let us see the step by step tutorial how do you create such kind of transition in PowerPoint. Well, to give you just a little bit of background that in uh, business presentations such kind of transitions are often avoided because they are not uh, considered professionals. But sometimes there are few occasions where you have to showcase something uh, out of the box thinking or you, sh you have to showcase some, some kind of creativity. Right. So in those situations, you can use this kind of transition. For example, uh, I was given this task to create a PowerPoint slide to to present my team members who successfully completed 20,000 vaccinations for our employees. And I had to create a slide and present it in the business meeting. Right. When I created this uh, template, I put their photographs, their names. And after doing all this stuff, I realized that I can be more creative and I can do some justice to their hard work, right? So then I started searching for to find something creative for them. So, and then I just landed up with this transition and I think that this served my purpose, right? So this is what I achieved after I done all the homework and done all the customization, right? So team behind 20,000 vaccinations in just front of you. So this way you can create this kind of transition and now we will learn how do you do that. So for that I have this blank sh blank canvas, blank, power, uh, blank PowerPoint slide and it will start from scratch. So for that you must have uh, two slides, right? So let us create two slides by just simply pressing the control D and it will duplicate the previous slide. So now the first slide will be your main slide which will uh, represent the opening slide right and the second one will be in which you want to put the main content which is the uh, the main agenda of the meeting or your team member or you can use any new product which you are trying to showcase which you have just launched right so this way you can uh, arrange these two slides the first one will be where we have to do all the uh, transition and animation right so now let us let me give you uh, how they certain transition looks like when you do use it uh, as a default setting. So just select this slide number two and then go to this transition. Uh, by default you will be on the home tab and then go to the transitions tab. Just go to drop down and select the curtains, right? So when you select the curtains, right, it will uh, display something like this, a blank curtain. Right? But we don't want to have blank curtains, uh, black curtains, right? Because black curtains, you know, they don't look beautiful. But we here we are trying to do something creative. So that's why uh, I will just uh, go to the slide number one and I will add some colors in this slide so that we can add those colors in the uh, curtains. So for that, you can go to design tab and then you can format the background. Just go to solid fill already and then select the color red. Now the first slide is red in color and now if I go to the trans slideshow mode and I press next, you will see the colors have turned into red and the curtains are now looking in red color. So this is the one thing which you can do. But if I, if, but if you see the uh, transition which I have shown you that use actual uh, curtains. So now we will learn how to add actual curtains in your transition. So for that I will just go back to the to its default setting to its white color and then you can go to the insert tab and then go to the online pictures and in online pictures you can search uh, from all the creative common pictures which means the images which are uh, which are available to use without any restrictions we call them creative commons right so now search here uh, theater curtains and press enter and when you press enter you will see this check mark on the creative commons only which means that all these images are ready to use and you don't have to pay for them you don't have to take permission from anybody to use these images so now let's see which image you can use uh, for your project so whatever the image you find suitable for you you can use it so let's see if i use this image i will just select the image and press insert 
and it will be downloaded and it will be inserted in my uh, slide show in, in my slide so now it is not of the same size you can just resize it according to your your you can say the slide size right it's up to you how do you want to use it so now i have just added this curtain image and now if i go back to the slideshow mode and if i go to the next i will press next you will see the curtains are now opening so this way you can uh, add actual curtains and make them do their transition right so, but the this is not the final object final project so i have to add some text and some kind of logo if you can see in my previous slide i used some text and this logo so if you don't have any logo you can create it in powerpoint let's just go back here just go to the insert tab so now i'm trying to display the vaccination so i will use the theme the vaccination any medical icon right so i will go to the icons tab and i will select the icons under the uh, medical category uh, any uh, vaccine or any uh, medical equipment you can use so just go to this medical tab and select whatever you want to use uh, in your icon right so i will use this one a heart beat right and this vaccine just press control and you can select multiple icons so now just press insert they will be downloaded and now i want to create a background for my logo so i will go to the insert tab go to shapes and then uh, create a circle for the background so i will press control shift and then create a circle a perfect round circle just put it in the center and you go to shape fill fill it white remove all the outlines and now i want to put these icons in this in this circle so they are in the background so i will just select the circle i will go to the format tab send it to the backward okay bring forward so now i want to change the colors of this beat i will go to the format go to graphic fill change the color to red and put it in the center of this circle so now this is in the center now i have this uh, in syringe now i can just resize it and put it here so now as you can see if you want to rotate it you can also do that right it's your wish how do you want to use it so now this is the logo which i want to use here uh, you can readjust everything if you want so now let us let's make it final so now i will select all these shapes first i will select the circle and then select this heart and then this uh, injection and then press control g to create a group so now i have created this little uh, icon now you can go to the insert tab and then you can add some text here go to word art and select any design which you want to use maybe you can use this one or this one whatever you want to use let's mm, go with this one so now i will add team behind successful 20000 vaccinations right so now this is the text which i have added here you can change the color if you want and if you don't want to change color it's up to you right so let's keep it the way it is or you can just go back to this and you can just change the colors text fill to text white blue yellow whatever the color you want to use you can use it so let's use white color and if you want to resize it increase the size just increase the size so team behind the successful 20000 vaccinations now this is the text and this is the icon which i want to use as a opening slide for my presentation right so now i will go back and i will just copy this slide from here press control c right and then go back to this uh, presentation press right click and keep the source formatting and now i have the slide here so now i will go back to this first slide go to slide show mode and press enter or press click or the next and now the transition is ready and this is your team behind your success or the new project or the new product which you have just launched and this way you can 
make these things beautiful and creative so that's all for today's video and if you like this video don't forget to like share and subscribe this channel right because i keep uh, uploading new content on excel and powerpoint so make sure that you turn on the notification and you will get the notifications for all my new videos thank you very much